Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, this week, this video, it's not the one I wanted to put out just yet, but unfortunately, I misplaced my SD card. So my ride to the Indian dealer is going to have to wait till next week. But what I want to do this week is go over how to paint hats or airbrush hats and how I did this skull. And I'm planning on offering uh, hats here in the future, uh, two different styles. So we'll do this style, which has the Velcro back, trucker style, and then a fitted trucker style hat. And I plan on having multiple colors. So if you're interested, hit me up, leave a comment, hit me on my Instagram page at Warpaint Customs or Facebook at Warpaint Customs and uh, let me know if you're interested and so let's get into the video and how to airbrush a hat okay guys see you after the intro <laughs> All right, so first thing we want to do is decide which side we want on the hat. So this is going to be my darker side. So what we'll do is I'm going to flip it over, take my Super 77 by 3M, I'm shaking it so you can feel like what it feels like. And I'm just gonna spray this lightly. So we're just gonna make, I just wanna make sure we got coverage. We'll let that sit and tack up. And then we'll put it on the hat where we wanna lay it out and then spray it. All right, so we have our dummy head here sorry for the vibration and then we're going to stick the stencil on it that we've already sprayed our adhesive on it should be tacked up now so we're going to flip it around I think we're going to place it on this side Put it where I want it. Because it's a curved surface, we might not have the greatest luck here. But uh, let's see. So, yeah, our drips are not going to be kind of how we want them. But so I could modify this shield a little bit. So that's not so curved, but uh, we will go with it like this for now. And then we'll spray it with a, well what I'm, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask it off from the overspray. We don't want overspray, so we'll just kind of make like a tape dam just to protect our overspray. And I'm sorry that I keep bouncing you guys. But, uh... We pretty much got it where I want it. So now what I'll do is I'm gonna go in with a darker gray to start out. Because, well, actually, what I want to do, I probably I'm 
That is odd. Forgive me for a second. Got airbrush troubles. That's because I didn't clean my airbrushes out earlier today. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit these down here first. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unmask this because then we'll gotta go in here and we'll actually have to set up the airbrushing. So as you can see, now we go in there and we start our the real airbrushing, which I'm gonna have to set this up a little different, different angle. But uh, as you can see, we started on this and we will finish it here in a minute. Okay, so I've got the hat masked off where you don't get a lot of overspray on here because we have a dark surface that's gonna show up really bad if we do that. And then I have a reference skull here and I do need to come up with a name for that because he's gonna be my helper. And uh, So I have we're gonna go in and do, we're gonna do the eyes and the nose right now. We're gonna start detailing that out. We're gonna come in with two different colors of, uh, in the gray scale. We have, uh, so this will be like my value, my number five value. So this is about a mid-tone. And this is gonna be my number one. So this is going to be a fairly, fairly dark, but not black on the scale. So I'm gonna add just a little bit here and I am using for my airbrush, I'm using the uh, Creos PS770. All right, so let's, let's go in with some detail. We'll come in, we'll start. And like my light source, think about it, it's gonna be right here if we're gonna have this like really dark. So if I move this over, You'll notice that my light source, if I keep moving the camera, my light source is actually coming from this way. So if you look kind of like how it is, look on, on the skull, I can kind of get an idea how I want my light source on the hat. So we'll give it more dimension and we'll come in here with the darker, but I'm just getting this in here for now. Kind of getting some ideas of how we want this to, to play out. You'll see we're kind of getting a little bit of detail in there. Swap out real quick. Off the access, and then we'll come back in. We'll start with the dark color now. There is areas in in the skull that we'll show you that are anatomically relevant. So you'll see like you have your holes in your skull. Basically that's where like your optical nerve is also your veins and then sinus cavities. So it is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it is something that you want to make sure that you've got in there. So I'm just kind of getting reference because we're going to come in here and we're going to do lighter in here. 
but we do want to just make sure. Now on this one, I probably will end up coming in with a black in areas. We might just use like a, a closer to a white because this the bot the background the background's so dark that we'll go in with a lighter color and it's it's still will be even if I use white if I don't go super super heavy it'll be a um, a light gray unless I go too too. Uh, too many layers then it'll it'll lighten it out so let me go ahead let me swap out my paint and do the lighter color and then we'll be right back okay got the white in here so let's go in here and start spraying that white And again, any detail that I end up start losing, we will go in. We're gonna lay that stencil back over top of it and we'll hit those areas. And we'll probably hit it with a gray. And the cool thing with this texture, I like I don't have to go solid because if I don't go solid, I'll give it It'll have a nice texture to the spray, to the uh, to the surface to give it kind of like a weathered skull look. So now I'm just filling in the skull and it's gonna start knocking back some of the detail. But when we come back with the stencil it will start bringing back out that detail. I promise you. So now we'll go back in. We have some registration marks with our previous detail that went in. So we'll go in, we'll lay that stencil back down, change out my paint again and bring that skull back out all right so we got the stencil somewhat laid on here it's close to the way it was before now we're just going to come in and hit some areas mainly around the edges to kind of this ought to help bring it out more We'll just hit these little spots here. Come back in on this nose. All right, we'll pull it off and we'll see what we got. Should have it. Pretty close to being able to tell. All right, we got some depth going in that sucker now. Can you see it? Let's see. Can you tell we almost got some 3D look going on here? So then we'll come back in. I'm gonna try to hit this eye socket here. more on this I will probably come in and do some darkness in here and hit some of that darkness let me swap out my paint we'll come back in and hit it hold on all right so now what I have is a pure black in here so I'm just gonna go in and hit some of the areas where it's gonna be like really dark
kind of give you some detail in the eye socket. And put my old man glasses on. Let's give you a closer look at that. And we might not go too much more into that because if you look at it, it's pretty good. It's pretty close. Yeah. So we'll go in. Now we're going to add the blood into it or the dripping. So let me pull this off and then show you what I'm talking about. All right. So if you look, so we got those drippings here. We want to make that kind of look like blood. But what do you guys think? Pretty good so far. A little 3D. Might have to come in here and kind of hit those edges a little bit. So they don't look so stencilly. But uh alright. Let's uh we'll we'll put actually we'll just put some candy in there and we'll go in here and we'll see how that looks. Alright, so I got my candy mixed up. So what we'll do is Oh, so sorry about that earthquake there. So what we're gonna do is, on the droppings, we're gonna start going in, hitting it with the candy, turning it blood. Let's see how it's looking. Let's see what, look at that. Can you tell? It's looking pretty good, huh? Would you rock that? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully now you kind of understand a little bit on how to airbrush a hat and how simple it really is. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Help me grow this community. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any questions, ideas, and as always guys, rock on.